you underestimate the power of the dark side. Yeah, intermittent fasting is great and incredibly healthy. I've been doing it since high school and my fat adaption is quite effective. It's highly effective. Looking back at my journey, I can't say that it's been super duper all the way along. But even now, after several years, I can't escape some of the negative side effects and slippery slopes that make me fall into darkness. We're in the underworld now. The dark side of fasting no one talks about, except for this video. Hypoglycemia while fasting. When you're starting intimate fasting, your body isn't used to going without food for any longer than 14 hours usually. Even though you're carrying around a ton of calories in your body, you still have low energy, experience exhaustion, dizziness, and low blood sugar levels. Hypoglycemia is uncomfortable and can be actually dangerous. It's caused by inadequate amounts of glucose in the bloodstream, which starves your brain from energy. You shouldn't expect to be full of energy when adapting to this, and you should take things slowly. Rest during your fasting window and avoid extremely strenuous physical activity. Drink more water to prevent hunger and additional stress. Consume more electrolytes and sodium in your food and water. Lower your carbohydrate intake to transition over from a sugar-burning engine to a fat-adapted metabolism. The reason you feel hypoglycemia is because your body is running on glucose. And because there are no carbs to be found, you go through an energy crisis. What about muscle loss while fasting? Sugar burning again. In general, fasting doesn't burn muscle mass. In fact, human growth hormone and ketones are protein sparing, which preserve lean tissue at the expense of increased fat burning. However, initial periods of fasting can be characterized by higher rates of gluconeogenesis, especially if you're doing it on a diet with a lot of carbs. What to do to not lose muscle while fasting? The same, rest and sodium. Training in a fasted state will actually cause a greater anabolic response once you start eating again. And you can easily build muscle that way, as long as you get enough protein and calories. That's why you should try to avoid a caloric deficit. When you're trying to adapt to fasting, then you should eat at maintenance and start eating more fat instead of carbs. After you've done IF for a few weeks, you can fast without losing any muscle at all. I find your lack of faith disturbing. A drop in mood. Although you're mentally clear and sharp, you can still become a person who you don't want to be around. Moodiness, grumpiness, avoidance, lethargy, exhaustion, snappiness can all be the negative side effects of fasting. What to do? A warm cup of coffee gives you energy and livens up the heart. The caffeine will increase fat oxidation and releases adrenaline, which remove the clouds of mental fog. Also, you can break your fast before or during your social interactions. Both constipation and diarrhea can be an issue. Your body will begin to strike back after you get used to fasting. This is only temporary and it becomes less of a problem after a few days. If you feel constipated and haven't had bowel movements in days, then drink more water, some apple cider vinegar, add more fiber to your meals, consume more potassium and electrolytes again. If you get uncontrollable disaster pants after you break your fast, then eat some charcoal tablets and herbal teas. You don't know the power of the dark side. What about weight loss? Some people say that they can't do IF because they're unable to cram down all their calories in a restricted feeding window. If they have to eat 3000 calories, then that's a lot of food to consume between 4 to 8 hours, especially if you're eating whole foods. The solution is simple again. You can either shorten your fasting window or reduce your activity levels. You don't have to do hours of cardio just to burn fat if you already can't eat your calories for recovery. Don't exercise just to eat more. Eat so that you can support your training goals. Also, you'll get used to eating larger meals with IF as well. Binge eating. Now, that's a real issue. Some people, they just can't stop eating. During the fast, they're perfectly fine. They could continue fasting for days without losing their mind. But once they start feeding, they just gorge themselves and eat and eat and eat until they can't move anymore. This tends to happen in the first few days. So hungry! You eat your first meal, then you come up with random food combinations and add sugar and fats together, all types of sauces on everything and other insanities of hunger. It's a trap! 
What you need is self-control and mindful eating. If you already made through your fast, which is supposed to be the hard part, then you should also have enough discipline to control your urges for just a little bit longer. The reason you feel like wanting to eat a horse is caused by your inability to burn fat for fuel yet again. People who fast for 3 to 5 days usually say that they lose hunger completely and their mind is constantly sharp. That's because they get into ketosis, deep ketosis, even if they eat an unrestricted carbohydrate diet. If you were to do intermittent fasting on a ketogenic diet, then you'd experience all these benefits from day one straight. You underestimate my power! And the biggest negative side effect of fasting is decreased metabolic rate. Don't take this the wrong way. Intermittent fasting doesn't slow down your metabolism and make you fat. In fact, fasting for 48 hours can increase metabolic rate by up to 14%. The problem is that fasting is still a stressor to the body. Elevated cortisol and adrenaline levels can wreak havoc to your hormones and metabolism if they cause too much stress. If you're doing intermittent fasting, have a ton of work to do, you're screaming at people, have negative self-talk, work out for 3 hours a day, watch blue screens all day and can't sleep, then you're asking for trouble. You have to chill the f*** out before you burn the f*** To avoid it, you shouldn't fast for too long too frequently. If you're already fasting for 16 hours every day, then you don't need to add an additional stressor to your body by having another 3 day fast every month. Fasting is great, but the key is to do it intermittently. In a similar vein, you can eventually get some micronutrient and mineral deficiencies as well. If you don't eat for days, your body won't get access to the essential nutrients it needs, such as omega-3s, magnesium, potassium, vitamin B12 and many more. And if you do eat, but do it in a restricted window, like in one hour, you won't be able to metabolize all the micros. To not become deficient, you should prioritize nutrient-dense whole foods that have the nutrients we need. Green leafy vegetables, unprocessed meat, fish, eggs, and healthy fats. And you can also take some supplements. Don't underestimate the force. As you can see, it's not all sunshine and rainbows with intermittent fasting. Even though it can be uncomfortable sometimes, it's totally worth it. I mean, your health is better, you can live longer, your mind is sharper, you can be productive, creative, no hunger, and you'll burn fat very easily. The key is to actually learn how to burn your own body fat for fuel. That's why your experience with intermittent fasting depends on how long you've been doing it and what kind of a diet do you follow. I myself do the ketogenic diet, which keeps me in a similar state as fasting. Fasting induces ketosis, and the ketogenic diet mimics the physiology of fasting almost entirely. Keto isn't the end-all be-all, and you'll be fine with doing just intermittent fasting. However, keto makes fasting so easy because you'll always have more energy. If you're interested in learning more about the ketogenic diet, then check out my free ebook called Simple Keto. And if you want to master the craft and combine it with intermittent fasting, then you need to get my Keto Eye of Program. It's a blueprint for becoming insanely fat adapted. Thanks for watching, click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay fat adapted, stay empowered. The force is strong in this one.